Okay, so TenoCon 2023 just happened, and I'm going to recap a lot of what happened for you guys. Now, there will be a video of some select stuff in the future that I choose to go into more detail about because I don't want this video to be too, too long, and it's so much to unpack. So let's start out with what you're seeing on screen right now. The Heirloom Collection. The Heirloom Collection, uh, there's a series of bundles. One includes, basically, they're a big bundle of cosmetics you can get. They give you a 10-year acolyte on your profile page so you can say you've been there as well as skins for the two frames you see here frost and mag yes that mag looks kind of like nova from far away but definitely it's mag those are the two skins along with the accessories, the little things on the helmets and whatnot, they can be apparently attached to any frame. So keep that in mind. I'll go over further detail in another video. But we have a lot to get through, okay? So let's check out the next bit of news, okay? Grendel Prime. Yes, Grendel Prime is going to be coming soon you'll be able to live out all your meatball fam fantasies prime like and whatnot so yeah it's going to be coming with the Zyloc prime and you know his signature melee weapon prime which is very cool i also should point out that dog days is currently live in Warframe right now as of making this video. And speaking of housekeeping, what's also live in Warframe is a former alert for 24 hours. So definitely check that out. And yeah, now I should also hear mention that they did show off a bit of Soul Frame. Now, I'll do a whole separate video about that on my other YouTube channel, where I play a lot of different games and stuff. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But one of the big things I want to talk about right now is going to be Warframe Abyss of the Goth. The Goth is going to be a next Warframe. And that's also the name of this update. So, yeah. And we got a little bit more details about what's included in this update. Update 34, Abyss of the Goth. The new Warframe, the Goth. Signature, Blade, and Whip. New Narberest Lore. Basically, Grandmother is going to be telling us the Goth's origin story. Hydroid Rework, including a new ability. So I wonder which ability is getting replaced with which ability. Companion Rework. Sturdier. As in tankier, no permadeath, as in they won't be able to technically die, which means the infested frames really aren't, uh, I mean, the infested cavats really aren't all that powerful anymore because the big thing infested cavats are going for them was the fact that they couldn't die. But I do like this, and it's a companion rework, so I wonder if it just means like Kabat and Kubros, or if they mean Sentinels as well. And gameplay 
impacts the return to battle. I'm assuming if we kill enemies faster, they come back faster. Or perform like good combos, you know, stuff like that. Maybe each pet will have a certain thing that you have to do to make them revive faster or something like that. Who knows? Rough, okay, rough edges and grind walls. So basically, they're optimizing quests and increasing our ability to gain focus, which is good for newer players, definitely. I say that because I already have max focus, but it's very good for new players, okay? And then we also got accessibility, different accessibility option, like we'll be able to make it to the enemy get more outlined and stuff. If you have trouble seeing the enemies, I'm always a big fan of more accessibility options. But there is also an additional option we we'll get, which is apparently auto melee. Apparent what Pablo described this as being is that you can kind of hold down melee and keep meleeing opposed to button mashing. So I'll have to see how that works out, but that doesn't seem too bad. We also got, well, for a deeper dive, what September's dev stream. So we know there's going to be a dev stream in September at least, so that's cool, I suppose. And we'll get a deep dive into Hydra's ability. Hopefully, um, the Goth's ability, because, you know, September's right before October, so... The update's going to be soon enough in that case. And cross-save. They did mention that cross-save was coming to in 2023. So this year to Wolfram. Unless something sets them back because they did mention that they don't want to lock our accounts, which is very good. Very good. I don't want my Wolfram account locked either so that's good and then now for some stuff that i don't have assets for but they are pretty cool nonetheless warframe 1999 i'll be talking more about that in its own video apparently it's a new expansion coming next year seems crazy seems pretty cool. It seems like it has like this whole Hayden Tenno type vibe, you know, Dark Sector type vibe, but they did vaguely bring up a bunch of times during TennoCon, so that makes me think that that might be what it is, but also, in addition to that, we get to fight a new Necromech enemy faction, new Murmur enemy faction, and this is going to be in an update that we will get in, uh, I assume somewhere around December, because they said before the end of the year, so I don't know when exactly, but that update is called Whispers in the Wall. And it seems like it will be somewhat related to Warframe 1999, but we'll have to see. Oh, and I guess I should mention that in the update, Abyss of the God, they did vaguely mention that they're making the Wave Rider quest easier. And hey, it will be easier for you Tenno out there who haven't done it yet. And I love the fact that it's going to be easier because I I hated that quest so, so, so much. I was about to give up and just ha have it be the first quest in my codex that I never completed. But... Luckily, I did end up completing it out of luck. So I'm glad they're making it easier. 
But yeah, there's the recap. And like I said, there will be certain things that I make bigger videos on, more detailed videos on. Stay tuned to the channel for that. And let me know in the comment section below. Did you get a chance to watch TennoCon 2023? Did you guess everything that would happen? Are you excited to come back to Warframe if you've been away for a while? Or are you like, yeah, I guess to check it out. I don't really know. It seemed okay type thing. Let me know your thoughts comment section below and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later